Islam, 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 and welcome to Sisters Standing on Law. This is your host, Anita Ill, along with my co-host, Raz Mariah Bay. All right, Islam, Islam, Islam. <laughs> Islam. <laughs> good day. Good afternoon. <laughs> yes, good day, good afternoon. Uh you know, it's so funny, uh, before the music started, I was thinking, I don't feel like doing this show. <laughs> you were what? Say it again? I was feeling like, man, I don't feel like doing the show today. As soon as that yeah. music came on. We were vacillating between what we were going to do and discuss. I know that. But what, yeah. what usually happens when that happens is, you know, I, I heard the first and, I heard I the know. first song, and I was like, okay, <laughs> this is exactly what I needed to hear. <laughs> oh, yeah. Doing your exercises to the music, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. That, that song got me right in the mood. I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes. Yes. Welcome all our, to all our listeners, um, those listening via the Internet and as well as our callers. Once again, uh, this is Sister Standing on Law on the 15th of November, and we thank you so much for joining us. The chat room is open. Now, I know everybody's probably groaning again because we were going to go over the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, at least we were going to begin going over the Treaty of Peace and Friendship and just see how far we we, we got. And uh, we were going to do that last month. We pushed it off to this month, and, 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 and we're pushing it off again to next month um, because uh, we feel that it needs to be brought home uh, very strongly to everyone, but us especially mother, there is a diabolical plot afoot, and that plot is to permanently eliminate mother. And we felt that we needed to push off going over the Treaty of Peace and Friendship 1786 simply to bring this most important message to mother, all mothers, if you're, if you're Asiatic, female, your mother. It doesn't matter what we study, research, research, or analyze. If you don't get that your obligation, mother, is to wake up, let go of all the petty nonsense, and recognize you are the one, this diabolical plot, will continue to be implemented and enforced against you, mother, by the modern European daughter, the modern European son, and unfortunately a few Asiatic sons. This is the wake-up call. And the call to wake up has been going out for some time. I believe, you know, it's been over, what, 100 years since the prophet past form, before he even passed form, the call has been going out for mothers to wake up. It's so past time that mothers wake up. I want to just bring the mothers back to a little bit, a little bit of an overview, synopsis, to how we got to where we are. But before I do that, I want to say this. We have no hate or animosity towards the modern Europeans because, in fact, their obligation at this time is very similar to ours in that everybody must declare their nationality, everybody. And And there are modern Europeans out there now who have declared their nationality has and has been working to um, um, uplift foreign humanity, 
especially the modern Europeans, the prophet even said, uh, Europeans are helping me, why aren't you? So we do not hate the modern Europeans. We, this is not a bashing of the modern Europeans. This is a clarity for those wars who are asleep. And it is also a clarity for those modern Europeans who are asleep, don't know their own history, just like our people. We have, we have a, a similar dilemma. Um, also, this is in no way a bashing of sun. This is not about, oh, the suns are irrelevant. We need to get rid of them. That's not what this is about. This is about correcting information. And sometimes the information, we may not like it. We may not want to accept it. But it is what it is. It is what it is in terms of sun. You've got to understand that you ain't bringing nothing here to help make sure family is safe. But she came here with all them eggs in her womb already, and you don't have nothing to do with that. So stop claiming some other species child, offspring, I should say. So other species offspring, mother, eggs. Or eggs. Even if, right. Even you, if you're going to stop claiming some other species eggs. I'm only putting it into the perspective that the sister already comes here with the um, the, the eggs in her womb, which is the nation. And so stop claiming some other sister's eggs or nation. Exactly. And uh, mother's mm-hmm. even the European sons, daughters, yeah. Right. And and because, mothers because, I'm a, because the European is a daughter all day long, period, end of story. So um, when I said other sisters, I shouldn't have said sister. I meant the daughter, the daughter of the American Revolution, the European. All right. Right. Now, mm-hmm. on the other hand, mothers, this is not, um, this, not, this information does not mean you can like lord it over the sons, like you're the you're in charge. Everything comes everything does come through you, but you don't need to hammer it over the son's head, nor do you need to make them feel like, you know, they're you don't need to belittle them. That's not what this is about. Uh it, it, we need to be clear. That is some petty nonsense that we need to let go of. We need to be clear what is going on. We need to put our feelings and our emotions on the back burner and look at things objectively and know. Because as long as you got misinformation working against you, you will work against the nation. And uh, really, this call is not, like I said, it's not just for mothers, it's also for the sons. Because if you don't wake up, Mother Nature, the nature of the universe, the mother of the universe is going to take you out. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to help people to wake up so that does not happen. So the sword is swinging for mother and son. But she is the one that needs to wake up the most. Because all life comes through her womb, all of it. You know, I was having a conversation the other day, and um, you know, um, it, it was it, it. You know, we we want to like um, try in ways to to make it appear as though mother and son is equal. Mother and son is never going to be equal because we know where son comes from. She comes from out of her womb. We don't know where she comes from. Yeah, in the scheme of things, everything is energy. But we are talking about what has been manifested on this earth plane and why. And if you don't understand why things have been uh, manifested on this earth plane, I would suggest you go to the Ivy Bay Publications website and you read The Secret Book of John. And you will understand why Mother manifested in the flesh in this earth plane. 
all right? That's a whole other discussion that we probably will explore at another time. But today, it is all about this diabolical plot and mother waking up because if she doesn't wake up, this is just a standing on law, all right? If sisters don't wake up, this diabolical plot will continue. And the result of this plot is that you have uh, mother's baby being kidnapped, baby that's being kidnapped right now in, in droves is her son. And in order for that to stop, she must wake up. Now, yeah. let me take you a little bit back to the history of how this all got started. You see, and I'm, I'm not going to go too far back, but mother created this modern European daughter. There was never supposed to be any interaction, but it happened. You know, and was not followed. The, 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 the Asiatic son was interacting with the, with the modern European daughter. It was not supposed to happen. That's another story. But it happened. Now, these modern European daughters, they felt, okay, they're going to do this because in their minds they felt that these Asiatic sons would claim their offspring that's why if you go back in history, they, there's this strong emphasis on the son claiming the child. Yeah. And if the son didn't claim the child, the child was considered nothing, nobody, a thing. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. All right? That could never happen with the Asiatic mother because... <laughs> She is the beginning and the end. She is the alpha and the omega. Whatever comes out of her is Asiatic. Ain't nothing coming out of these Asiatic sons. And, and so what they would do is they these European daughters would get these Asiatic sons to claim their offspring yeah. in the hope that these Asiatic sons would transfer the estate to their children. They felt like, okay, I will do this. I will submit my body to these sons and they can do whatever they want with it and have whatever type of enjoyment. I will do it for the sake of my child being able to uh, inherit the estate. Now, European daughters, their children, their offspring, if they can never inherit this estate, that would be a fraudulent transfer. And we all know that inheritance cannot be bought, sold, or transferred. All right? So when these modern European daughters realize that their children will never qualify to inherit anything, that's when they began an all-out war, not against the son, against the Asiatic mother. <laughs> they could in way, shape, or form eliminate or turn the son against the mother. They can appear to be the heir, which they're doing right now, and they will be able to have the estate of the Moors transferred to their offspring. So if they can eliminate, make mother disappear, which is impossible because if mother is gone, this whole thing is going down. But if they could uh, exterminate the Asiatic mother, they will step up to the plate and impersonate the Asiatic mother, which they're doing right now. They're impersonating yeah. the Asiatic mother, and because the the information has been been altered, a lot of everybody thinks that in order for a woman to have a child, she needs something from the son, and she really doesn't. 
there is some presumption that something is coming from the sun and it and the sun is contributing to this 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 divine being, you know, being born. That's not the case. She came here with the divine being in her womb already. A nation is in her womb. If you study the process, the prophet's work, he says it right there. He not only does he say it, he shows it. She has a nation in her womb. She probably came here with the egg, with the baby. And if she was to get herself straight, she would have no need of no outside electrical charges in order for that cell division to begin and that child to eventually be born. So what has to happen right now? So imperative that mother wake up. She has to wake up to her obligation because we can study all day long. We can study the Constitution. We can study the trees. We can study all trees, all acts, all case law. We can all situations. We can break down, analyze. We can do everything under the sun. But if mother is asleep, nothing is going to change. You hear me? Nothing is going to change. Well, let's say that Islam and putting it in another way. Let's say I mean, all the sons uh, and, and, and are in line. All right, they they in line. They trust the two sons. We trust the two of the seven holy Quran. They bring in the light. Uh, as their duty, the first to bring the light, um, uh, if they have it. And let's say they're all in line doing that. And this is the frustration that sons have. That, that some of the, uh, I'll say here, I don't want to say good sons, but those who are aware have. Let's say they all are in line, but you, mother, are asleep. The, the, everyone knows that the could of the child is based on the mother. That is national and international intercourse. That's not going to change because the, the nationality has to be established through the mother. That's why a lot of times, you know, like we say, they'll contact us and it seems like it's, you know, uh, unfair or whatever they want to call it. Like, no, you can't claim the nationality of a child, oh, that comes from their mother. Their mother must be aware because she'll undo all that because they will use her against you. If that's what they need to do or you against her. But that's what they do. But regardless of what they do, the truth of the matter is, is that it is determined by the mother. So let's say all the sons are straight, still asleep. Not only is this going to reverse things, she'll, she'll put everybody else back into into that uh, dead status because, you know, it's like, what what good is it? She's not claiming the estate, right, her estate. She's not teaching her children to do the thing. What? It's not going to go down. So it's about her recognizing her position. Now, we are aware that we've been under, most all of us have been under, or sometime or another, and some still, the what is known as, and no diggity, no doubt, the patriarchal mindset, or what we would call the modern European seeking for a home and inheritance mindset. And some of the sons are still under that. They are so busy, like, you know, you ever see the Flintstone? This is what I imagine. You ever watch the Flintstone? And Fred Flintstone is in his little mobile that doesn't have a motor, so he's using his feet and he's going real fast to her, you know, to go to make it move. They are like paddling yep. on with their feet against nothing. They really, in essence, a lot of them, and, and this is a message to the brothers because it's not a matter, like you said, that there's a disdain or dislike for European daughters. It's not a matter that, you know, there's any hate at all there. Or that if you care for a person, regardless to what their nationality may be, um, but it is a matter that you're working hard to try to have her make a claim against your mother's estate. You have got to be able to see that because you're mm-hmm. working real hard, paddling real fast, and then there's those. Um, who are working real hard, law and politics, 
uh, in the in the wrong arena, totally in the wrong arena. Like I recently received an email from a brother, um, and I think he has a European mate as well. I'm not sure, so it doesn't matter who he is. That's irrelevant. Um, about how the United States is bankrupt and Wells Fargo is suing the United States and all this crazy crap. And I'm like, why is he? Why are our sons out there spending time in that when that's not even true? Because the United States is a metaphor. It's just an interface for the for the Aboriginal uh, Indigenous people to interface with the United States of America. But I guarantee you, if I were to ask them, I bet you they may not even know the difference that there's the United mm-hmm. States and the United States of America. But yet this son and many others are out there. Fred Flintstone and Robin, you know, Ryan Nicole, with they keep playing real fast against nothing and to save the European daughter's child uh, because he, you know, uh, it, that's his mate. Well, guess what? They are not inheritable. Hello? Like, hello mm-hmm. again, hello again. They're not inheritable. That's what this whole thing is about. It's about the fact that they were concubines. And I'm not saying that they are that now. I'm not saying that. I, I know that all the Liz wants to list. We also think that they were concubines. They had their revolution, the American Revolution, the start of the American Revolution against those things. The marriage license came up to keep you. That's their thing, not yours. Not, that's their thing, not yours. To keep them from marrying, or you from marrying into them, and this, that's what we would want to do anyway with the marriage license. And so all of these things will come to play. Now, it doesn't mean that there's no benefit to these citizens, subject citizens. There is a benefit, but the only benefit, the only benefit for everybody, everybody is to enforce the law of the land. Now, Mm -hmm. we were going to talk about the treaty because we wanted the sisters to understand where, where they are in that. But if you're still thinking with a patriarchal mindset, or as a great, great example, if when you see the word Christian, which is in there because it's between Christian powers and more, and you start thinking about your Christian religion, then immediately there's no point in you even gaining understanding with the treaty because that's not what they're talking about. It's not about the, it's a, it's a political thing. So, but then again, on our syllabus, we'll, we'll, we'll make that clear to, to research that. But that's one of the hardest things. So, so again, the, the whole bottom line is is that most sisters have been under this thing where the guys, the, the son is going to leave. Uh, the only thing on the planet is the mother and the son. We got that. And, and they are. They're going to go out and leave and be front to protect. But they have to have the right knowledge themselves. You must give them, period. So, again, I go back to this scenario. Let's say all the sons are straight. They're straight. They got it. But the mothers are not. You end up putting your own family back into uh, a dead status because you have that power over any son to do so because it's your inheritance. And if you want to give it away or if you taught your son to give it away, because he's, like I said, he's out there trying to protect that which cannot, that is not inheritable. And that's just what I wanted to add to it. I wanted to add, I wanted the sisters to get a, a vision in their mind that all the sons are straight are you. That's and, and, in Islam, and I just want to also say, you know, because I, I have, I, I know, I remember the few times that we have brought this to the table, um, the turnaround from a lot, from some sons has been, well, what if she hooks up? What if the, what if mother hooks up with a European son? Doesn't that make her child uh-huh. European? You didn't even, if you're asking that question, you still don't get biology. Because it has nothing to do with what that says is you still think that life comes from the testicles of a male uh, and, 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 or I should say a son. Because if you study the word male, it will lead you right back to man. And you got to mm-hmm. know who man is. You got to mm-hmm. know who man is. 
tell you how mm-hmm. why it's very important that you know who man is. Because when you start reading the ancient scripts of our foremothers and forefathers, if you think man is the son, you will be terribly mistaken. But you know what? Let's address address that for a second. And when we cannot tell the story of Rebecca, in fact, if the mother is a more a more white mother, so is the child. It does not matter what electrified the egg, whatever electricity uh, or, or spark of electricity, whether it came from uh, intercourse with the sperm or otherwise, it doesn't matter. The child that comes out of her is absolutely. Absolutely inheritable, and only yep. her. That's it. And, and so again, you're saying you got to understand biology, and so to even ask that question means that you do not. And and and, and, and you know, and you know, this is a very, very, it's sens- it's a sensitive subject. But this particular, you know, it's it's interesting that. Uh, I, I have had conversations with both mother and son about, like, constitution and law. They get it. Treaty, they get it. Uh, what is and what is not government, they get it. But when we have this conversation about where life comes from, where it originates, it, uh, and that she came here with her egg, both yes. mother and son don't get it. Don't I think that's why. There's a lot of their sons that go out and actually think that they're going to start a nation. I know we've talked about this before, but it's got to come home. That they're going to start a nation, and then sisters will follow that because of the patriarchal mindset they've been under for so long. And then by discussing it, you know, you think, oh, you're against the sons. No, this is law, truth, biology, all right? So they'll follow that and think that he started a nation. He cannot start a nation. The nation exists in your womb already. Now, if everyone gets that straight, it would automatically change our mindset and our intent, I think, because you yeah. you have a son who's thinking he's starting a nation, and then he puts the arrogance on top of it, you know what I mean? It's like, it, it's just going south, you know? It's just going south. It's, it's, not, it's not, it has not been obtained. But, I, you know, it's like... Our problems is not so much the European as it is ourselves. We already know that. And a lot of people just want to write and say, we're never going to get together. We're never going to come together. Yeah, we are, because by force, by force of nature, we will. <laughs> oh, it's down. It's definitely going to occur. And then some people may say, well, uh, it hasn't for so long, but see, they don't know anything about cycles of time. They don't know anything about cosmological orders and energy. They don't really know what time it is now. They're not really dealing with the uh, 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 the ages and what what is to occur. Some people will be eliminated. They will be, but the earth is here, and and the principles of civilization will not change. Can't change. Yeah. So. Absolutely, absolutely. But but like 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 you know we 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 say this all the time and 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 one thing that I, I I have to say it all the time is look when you're this is this is not a battle uh, between us and modern Europeans it really is not this is nope. first a battle with yourself that's it and that's that's like ninety first point nine percent of the battle. Ninety-nine point nine percent of the battle is with yourself, because you have to get past those mental conditionings that are in your head, and that's a challenge. Because uh, what comes along with those mental conditionings is a lot of emotion, because those mental conditionings were formed. Through emotion. So you have to not only get through the mental conditioning, you have to get through the emotions. And unfortunately for a lot of sons, that's very challenging because these modern Europeans have implemented in our system and and many of us have run away with it. Uh, You know, where if you cry or if you show emotion, you're a punk. Emotion that your intuition will activate. So 
So it's for everything, really what you need to do, and this is not just for the sons, this is for the mothers too. You need to look at things that you're holding on to that imply that you're a punk or a wimp or a weakling because sometimes it is that mental conditioning that has been purposely put in place so that you never get past it in order to find yourself. Mm-hmm. So look at that feeling as a, um, a clue, a key. Oh, wow, well, if I feel this strongly about it emotionally, if I really feel, if I really feel like somebody going to punk me out, if I express my emotions, maybe I really need to look at my emotions because it could have been a mental conditioning that was implanted to block me from embracing my emotions, which will activate my intuition, and that will set me free. You know, on both sides, because it's very strong in the sun, but it's also in the mothers, too. So we need to really take a look at that, because that could very well be a clue and, 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 you know, and it's like, um, you know, a lot of times when you meet up with people and you have this instant revulsion of them, that's really the universe trying to say, oh, well, that's really you seeing yourself because people, people will, re- the people you interact with will reflect the parts in you that you need to work on that you ignore. Did, did we say the prophet says it's all about men's business? It's all about reflection. This is all <laughs> about reflection. All about re- it, it is not these modern Europeans that are holding us back. It is first the mental conditioning that's within our minds that we have to overcome by hook or crow, and then it is um, anything outside of ourselves. And unfortunately, a lot of times. That's not the modern Europeans. That's our brothers and sisters. Now, mm-hmm. when we find our brothers and sisters who are, for whatever reason, holding us back, it doesn't mean you're supposed to attack them. It doesn't mean that they're right or you're wrong. It just means that you need to recognize that they're on a different, they're at a different place than you. And if it is your intent to move ahead on your path, you just need to walk past them, and just send them love and keep on your path. That's it. Because, you know, uh, and, and, and this, this also came to me because I was on, I, don't, I am not really a YouTube girl, but I was on, somebody mentioned something to me and they, they saw it on YouTube, and I was on YouTube trying to figure out a way to find it. And what I saw is all the... YouTube clips put out by the majority of them look like sons, but I'm sure there were some sisters up in that mix too. But the majority of them were put out by sons. All these you, all these YouTube clips, every last one of them, proving and showing to the entire world that we as a family are still divided. And we are so divided with part and and um, and mentally we're still under that mental conditioning that we are put we are showing the world that we are so caught up in foolishness while at the same time not only are we we wanting for food the basic necessities of life food roof over your head and clothes on your back. These are all being these are all seen in these videos but not talked about. We have our brothers and sisters being murdered on the street. These are the background visible in these videos, but not talked about. What is talked about is all kind of petty nonsense by people who are purporting to be quote conscious putting this out to the world. And really what's crazy is we have all of, of the technology. These, these, you got these brothers putting this crap out when 
Meanwhile, you've got modern Europeans, they've got this whole media system established where they, in their media, they're claiming, they, it don't matter, they, it, what's crazy, they're, they're not even divided. They, they're, they're jacked up. But every time you watch this TV, every time you watch this media, they all in unison, American. I'm American. American this, American that, American, American. Oh, this is my land. This, everything they say, American, American, American. These YouTube clips, they ain't even united in, in, in one nationality, a, na- a nationality. They're not united in a nationality. They're all running around here talking. Not even, they ain't even united in a brand. You got Indians. You got Africans. You got African Americans. You got Negroes. You got niggas. You got black. You got colored. <laughs> we learn, look, all of that craziness, it goes on because you are asleep. Because I don't know about y'all. But I know when I was growing up, my mother kept us in check. If she had to whoop our behind, she kept us in check. My mother went ran a dictatorship. Was no talking going on, no, no reading. It was a dictatorship. And when I was growing up, I didn't like that. But I, uh, as I when I got older, I understood it because you know what. When your children are so out of control that they might do things to kill their full self, you got to run a dictatorship. Now, when they get to a stage in their life where they can sit down and reason, then we can talk as somewhat equal, not really equal. We're not Republican because we don't need to be represented. We're we're, um, what is the word that we're we're all a nation unto ourselves, but we. We're united under one nationality. But until we can sit down at the table together and talk and reason so that the uniting is done under unity, mother, y'all better get out there and say the shit. Because if you don't, your children are going to run amok. <laughs> Well, actually, you just really, uh, what it boils down to is, is principles of civilization needs to be instated. That is really all that it is. It is, And a lot of people have different, uh, you know, views. Like, I'll raise my child the way I want to and so on and so on and so on. But what we're saying is um, the ancient principles of civilization um, mm-hmm. are being inherent in anyone's life the nation is what has been missing from the family. And and that's it. And that's all because once those are established, then the child that you brought forth, which is some anyway, uh, would not, you know, they, 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 they would be who they are, but not lacking those civilization principles because that's what it's all about. They would, they, when you look at, they're, they're, what they're subjected to as a child is really first and foremost, besides whatever gifts uh, are bestowed upon them physically or lacking physically in their body, uh, they are subjected to the first house of home, that being that comes after the first three degrees. They're subjected to their home life. And they don't have necessarily a choice in in, in how you, mother, the fourth house of home, is running that house or allowing it to be ran, you know, because some mothers aren't running their, their house. They're allowing it to be infiltrated. Now, the child is subjected to that, yes. And so now they got to spend their life trying to, trying to get over those, some, what they're subject to. But that, that I'm saying, is not something that, you know, I'm making up. That is the rule of law. That is the way it goes for everybody. Those are the principles that don't change. Those will not change. So having knowledge of that is what 
we must have, especially with the responsibility of bringing a child into this world. You know, so mm-hmm. sometimes we concern ourselves about things that we ought not because every child is a gift. Every child is a here for a reason, and that must be played out. If we follow the rules of civilization, the rules, the law of the universe, which is scribed to us, scribed to us in um, written, written down, and what we see as the circle, which is really uh, the astrology will, uh, and, and that is also the circle seven. That's what the circle seven is, is the astrology will. So if we would subject ourselves to that and teach those principles of civilization, each child that came will work out whatever reason they came to work out, as opposed to being subjected to the infiltration that you allow them to be subjected to from their most subjected house and 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 a house that is of uh, of personal subjection, you know, like in other words, there's six personal houses before they step into the social arena. So what you have established a uh, 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 raised in your house for those six what we're gonna call six personal facets of the child's life now steps across the line into the social into society. And that's why they had, by the way, as a side point, the the the, the debutante cotillion, um, to say this is, you know, the daughter that I've raised that has stepped into society. And that's the that is the source behind it. And we'll reject those things, not realizing that they come from the science. It's just that Europeans and others may have taken it and put a different spin on it and had us away from it, so we reject it, you know. Um, so, so now I just have to say this. So now the child's most subject, subjected house is their self origin, which for self, period, is just coming here. That's self. I am. I am here. Here he's Boom. I'm here. But then their first personal, so their, so their personal independent houses are those first three degrees, you know, that we, that we'll call, uh, Aries, Taurus, uh, uh, Gemini to teach it better on what those principles are. But then after that, you're still in personal houses, you, you, but you're in, in now the most subjective house to this being that just came in. And that is the fourth house, which is the house of home, which is typically the mother's house. Again, mothers have other things, beings, and thoughts infiltrating their home. So if, if they do, so now you just infiltrated the, the laid out ground for this subjected spirit child in, who's been manifested in the flesh at your hand, in your womb, as you being the grand architect, and then you're going to allow it to be subjected to some bull in, in, in its most subjective state, which is the personal subjective house, the house of home, which equates to their self-origin. Because if you don't teach them anything in that house, they come out into society not knowing anything. If you don't teach them manners, they're going to walk out in the street without manners. And then we complain about the children not having manners. That is because when they take the responsibility in their house of home, they weren't taught manners. They were taught to get away with all kinds of stuff, obviously, you know. So, so, so again, it all comes back to these things that really civilization principles handle if we would go through the, the, the actual order of things. So we're talking about order. We're talking law order, which is, which is really a, um, discipline, law and order. All right? That's it. Because each child is the law that just got laid down. So, so I say all that to say that the responsibilities still remain with mother. And when you look back at our um, older days when women had, you know, we'd be talking about, oh, I got two children and it's a struggle. We brought in, you, you know, you know that we brought in 10, 11, 12, sometimes 15 <laughs> and, and, and populated the society. But time, whenever you talk to uh, your 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 children, your daughter especially, um, well, really especially your son as well. But uh, then they then they took that 
and they passed that down. And so always the oldest daughter ended up being the one that assisted, and then she taught the next daughter. And that's how the thing goes down. That's how it ought to go down because these are jewels of the family, jewels of the nation. And if we were to implement those civilization principles in our home, we wouldn't have this degradation that we have today. And that is why it is so important to link yourself back to the family of nations. Not to this other crap that is leading away from that. I mean, really, it's not, it's almost simple. It is simple. It really is simple, but until we have the exorcism of the crap that's been put in, and, and we, you know, and we can't receive the true baptism of knowledge. We can't. So I'm saying, how, you know, this, how do we do this? Reach your hand out. Reach your hand out to civilization principles. That starts. Yes. That's all. And, and we happen to be direct descendants. And even if you aren't, really, those civilization principles are ancient. And, 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 the, and the great seal, as for, you know, because Ramma learned by signs and symbols, so said Prophet Noam Juali, which I didn't. At the time, none of us will really get that until we get that. Um, that, that, that pyramid symbol uh, is really an ancient symbol of civilization. That's what it is, and it comes right off of those same practicing principles of that astrology will, which is also the Circle 7, and I'm going to keep saying that because there's people who are in uh, uh, temples and, and propagating supposedly uh propagating the prophet's work and don't know that the circle seven is a representation of the cycle of life, of the circle of life, of what we call the astrology world. They don't even know it. As a matter of fact, they rebuke astrology. Just like, just like these pseudo-Christian and other religions rebuking it. They don't even know that that symbol is the symbol of astrology and then tell you, oh, we don't see uh, teach astrology, so they're infiltrated from the door. And so the civilization principles that I'm talking about have been lost as a result. But what we're saying to this day is to go back to them because that is what will keep and get your house in order and your child, whatever child you bring, in order prior to submitting them into society to, to govern themselves and society, which is what our duty is, this is the answer. Ancient principles of civilization, which is civics, which is what the prophet brought down. So we have the answer, sisters. We do. Islam. Islam. All right. That's what I'm talking about. But, 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 but let's say this. Let's say this. Because that may sound great and all that and, it, and whatever. But if you are still under the European mindset and the patriarchal dogma and the pseudo-religious bullcrap, then you, you can't effectuate this until you get rid of that. And guess what? It ain't going to happen to you necessarily overnight. If you, I mean, it can. It can. It actually really kind of does. Once you get to that crossroad or to that place, it is an overnight occurrence. Now you have to take time, let's say, like you would load up any other program, let's say. Well, I don't mean program, but, you know, you have to take time to uh, allow the data, the data to come in, which really is already hidden in your DNA anyway, but has been suppressed. So so that may take some time. And we say that to say that do not, and, and you say it all the time, don't just jump out there half caught. Now, why do we do that? Because as I saw it in Suns, especially because they're the first forerunners. They're really out front. They're supposed to be out front. They're supposed to be protecting and stuff like that. You know, like even on the top four, you know, the ponds, right? That's really the children who who grow, grow into these other positions. But at any rate, that's what they're still doing, you know? And so the problem we have is this thing called the emotions, which is energy and emotion, that is without forced foundation that is stable. There's no stability to their, to, to their actions because there is no 
factual information grounded that you're walking out on. That is the reason why. So, you know, some people, as soon as they find out a little bit of this truth about how they've been lied to about themselves, they get angry. And then they go forth in anger, you know, and that is absolutely incorrect way to do it. So whatever it takes for you to bathe yourself, to exercise that information, to keep a circle, uh, what is it, put, put a circle around your passions and square up your conduct and know that victory is assured, provided you're sticking with civilization principles. So that's the only thing that's going to work in this uncivilized stuff we got going on. So if you can do that, then you can make moves. So many people make moves out of anger, out of, uh, uh, out of energy and motion, which is what emotion is. But if the energy and motion has no direction, it is absolutely destructive. So what's missing is the, the sure foot, the sure rock foundation. That's what's missing. And so we say again, you know, we could go and say, well, because of that, this is happening. So we go back to the same thing. Sisters, teach the children in their most subjective portion of life, which is your home and your care, civilization principles at all costs, at all costs, because a child is, you talk to these children, the day that are coming in, they got more sense. Even though they don't have the necessarily applied experience on this lifetime around, but they've been here before, you know, it's almost like they, it's almost like they're testing you, you know, and that's why they come against you. They come against the parents and say, take a back seat, which is a difficult pill to swallow with all because of the disorder that has existed. But they, <laughs> They, if you teach these principles to them, they'll give you the rest of the answer. Give them the truth. To give them this 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 foundation, they can pull from the answers the answer that you were looking for, because you put them on the right path. And so and so, I will say this: this uh, go to chapter Circle Seven Astrology because that's what it is, chapter twenty three, and it is a very brief. It tells you in there if you know how to read it. Uh, what is the uh, uh, prominent thing that your child comes with based on their astrology signs? But you're gonna have to know how to read it. And, and you know, um, uh, it starts out on I think it's 17. So you can know where to go and read it. Um, let me just get that reference. But um, you know, teach them that. To teach them that for civilization, because that's really what all it is. And then, be honest, that's all that's lacking. That is all that is lacking are those principles. And, and so I come full circle to come right back to that same thing. And I'm, I'm hesitating for one second because I just want to get, oh, here it is, here it is, right here. Is this it? Is this it? This is controversy. Um, this isn't it. Hold on. Just give me a second to, to, to pull up this. So those of you who are listening right now and saying, wow, I want to go, I want to go read what she's talking about in Circle 7. It actually deals with, you know, some primal stuff in dealing with my child. I, I, I want to view the floor, but I want to give that first. For me to do that, I have to go to somebody's probably beating me to it, right? I know somebody out there is beating me to it on the circle seven. Um, can't believe I don't have one right here. Uh, but hold on, just give me a second because I'm going to get it. Orange movement, circle seven. I thought I had printed these out as a lesson. Uh, Quran. All right, hold on. Uh, chapter 23. And what it is, listen, chapter 23, because this is what we're talking about. We're talking about the responsibility of mother. So let's lay it out. Let's lay it out because if you don't lay it out, it ain't going to necessarily get laid out. And even if there's a son out there or, or that, that that knows and is assisting and will uh, assist to get it out, you still need to know. You still need to know or you will ruin everything. But listen to this. 
<laughs> if I may just take this second to read this, it's not that long, Sister Anna Edith says, instructions for children, all right? Mm-hmm. All right. Consider that thou art a parent and the importance of thy trust. So actually, I'm starting with uh, the beginning of it. The being thou hast produced, it is thy duty to support. Upon thee also, it dependeth whether the child of your bosom be a blessing or a curse to thyself, a useful or a worthless member to the community. Prepare him early with instruction and season his mind with the maxims of truth. Watch the bent of his inclination. Set him right in his youth and let no evil have to gain strength with his years. So shall he, hold on, let me just say this. This means, mothers, let's be honest, we look at our children, we can see, oh, man, that's a bad habit. He's gone. You know who he is. That is what meaning watch the bent of his inclinations means. When you see these inclined towards bad habits or bad things or whatever, then you must set him right, but it must be done in his youth. So you have to be viewing that. And let no evil habit gain strength with his years. So shall he rise like a cedar on the mountains. His head shall be seen above the trees of the forest. A wicked son is a reproach to his father and his mother. <clears throat> but he that doth right is an honor to the gray hairs. A wicked son, uh, uh, the soil, excuse me, the soil is thine own soil. Let it not want cultivation. So if this is done under the under the surface, it's also done on top of the surface. Don't have a house in need of cultivation. Get the, set it in in order because that's where the child is subjected. His objections are. So, um, uh, the the soil is thine own. Let it not want cultivation. The seed which thou sowest, thou also shall you reap. So we talk about I don't know what's wrong with the children and all this and that. It, it's it's what they're subjected to. It really, it is. Um, it's our problem. Teach him obedience. Now, this is where it starts with telling you what the astrology signs are. He doesn't say in here the astrology sign because the truth of the matter is, and the matter of the truth is, the circle seven is an astrology book, period. The circle seven itself represents the astrology wheel with the four gates open and the seven it's all there already. So, you know, some things you, you, know, you don't have to say. But number eight starts with Aries. Teach him obedience. Because, you know, think about it. You've got a child coming into the world. They just came into the world. They, they just want to ram and go and, you know, they need to have temperance. They need to have obedience. And that's what Anna E was saying, except for she said her mom was a dictator. Well, I mean, you know, we have to, we have to, we have to refine and balance these things. You know, but um, teach him obedience, that Aries child, and he shall bless thee. And now in each sower, each one is dealing with two signs. Because the next sign after the Aries is the what? Taurus. And you must teach him modesty. And he shall not be ashamed because that's one of the things. Because remember, Taurus is the possessions and stuff. So if you got a child thinks, oh, well, I don't have anything, I don't have vision, you know. Uh, uh, doesn't understand modesty, they will always be ashamed. They will be ashamed because they don't have what the next person has. Really, so let me do this again. Starting with Aries, teach him obedience and he shall bless thee. Taurus, teach him modesty and he shall not be ashamed. <laughs> Excuse me. And then you have um, Gemini, teach him gratitude. <laughs> and you know some Gemini people who can be on their own. See, these mm-hmm. are dealing with the negative end of the sign, not the you know the negative and the positive, but it's dealing with what can occur if you don't implement the main primal things regarding the energy that you brought that child into. All right, when you when you conceived them and when you had them, so yes, there are some very uh, uh, they can we all can be un, ungrateful, but it could be more prominent um, in the Gemini sign. Teach him gratitude uh, 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 unless you unless you cultivate it. Teach him gratitude and he shall receive benefit. But they're always looking for benefit. Oh, my God. They, they, my goodness. And then, right. Um, right. You know what I'm talking about? You know some Gemini's like that? 
teach yes. him charity. You do? <laughs> teach oh, yeah. him charity. Huh? I What'd said, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Okay. Teach him charity. See, this is what's good about the science of the universe, which we're going to say astrology, which is the effects of the of, of, of the, the, the planet, uh, the energy of the universe as it moves through and how it makes different energies act different. And here you are carrying a child during these times of the month and affects your child. Absolutely. So then it says, teach him charity and he shall gain love. Now that's for the cancer because that's the house we Cancer rules the mother's house, right? Cancer rules the mother's uh, house four, which is the mother's house. So where does charity begin? At home. Don't they say that all the time? Don't you hear that all the time? Charity begins at home. Charity is the fourth house of uh, the mother's house. So teach him charity and he shall gain love. Now, um, this one, number 10, is reverse, but I wouldn't reprint it because they would cut my fingers off maybe. However, because I know astrology, let me tell you what what, what this, in other words, the prophet's not wrong, but whoever typed this, typed it in reverse, and I can prove it to you very simply by reading the next one, which would be for Virgo and Leo. So, because we just did, uh, we just ended with cancer. So, number 10 says, teach him temperance, and he shall have health. Right? Now, and then it says, teach him prudence, and fortune shall attend him. Guaranteed, the health is handled by Virgo, and the fortune is definitely under Leo, the sun, and the metal for the sun is gold. So that is reversed. So it would be teach him prudence vir- to Virgos, and uh, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, teach him um, temperance to the Virgos, and he shall have health. That's why Virgo, the sixth house, is the house of health. And teach, um, oh, I'm sorry, next would be Leo, right, right. They got it out of order. After cancer is Leo. Teach him prudence and fortune shall attend him. Sixth house, Virgo, teach him temperance and he shall have health. Everyone knows the sixth house is the house of health. And then we have teach him justice. Now, this is how you know you're on point because that's the Libra. Teach him justice, the seventh sign, and he shall be honored by the world. All right? And that's what should be in any supposed person in the position of a judge or any court or, or, or offer of, uh, of any uh, uh, um, legal, lawful uh, position of judgment and or counsel, really, that too. Teach him justice for the Libras, and he shall be honored by the world. And then for those Scorpions, teach him sincerity and his own heart, his own heart shall not reproach him. Now, I understand that because the, the scorpions, they're always trying to get revenge, and then they're always hurting themselves by that. They, they You know, they don't understand that vengeance is mine, fair the Lord, so leave it alone. So teach him sincerity, and his own heart shall not reproach him. And then after that, you have um, the Capricorn. You know, everybody knows this. Teach him diligence, and his wealth shall increase. Because that Capricorn is the 10th house of status, social status. Consider the mother's house. So whatever you did in the house four that you taught your child shall reflect in house ten, which is the polar reflection, which is the highest, uh, you know, the mid heaven. So teach him Capricorn, for Capricorn, teach him diligence, and it's well shown Greek. And then after the Capricorns, you have uh, the Sagittarius. What are Sagittarius? They're always seeking higher knowledge, right? They are the opposite of Gemini, which is the basic knowledge and understanding, and it is extended to Sagittarius, which teaches arrow going and inspiring, aspiring for more knowledge all the time, always searching for for more knowledge, be it spiritual or true religion or or any type of study, any type, even represents in your house what higher studies you will have by looking at what's in the ninth house, um, based on what you know, what your basics, do, what your abilities are, or limited to, um, in the third house. So it says, teach him benevolent, and his mind shall be exalted. So then mm-hmm. do that. <laughs> if there, it, you know, so then we have the Capricorn. And we, I mean, we have the, uh, sorry, not the Capricorn. We have the Aquarius and lastly, the Pisces. So 
teach him science, Aquarius, the most inventive line, mm -hmm. and his life shall be what? Useful. And he's in the 11th house of friends and hopes, wishes, and dreams, the social house. All right. Teach him science and his life shall be useful to the Aquarian. And lastly, but not least, teach him religion and his death shall be happy. Now, that's Pisces because you know Pisces is the beginning and Pisces is the end. And so what they mean by religion is not what you mean by religion when you go to church on Sunday and give Reverend Jones $5 to pray for you as a middleman. No, or whatever you give them. Um, because these days people think the moral finance they give their little preacher, that the, 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 their status is bestowed upon them because they were able to give more in the kitty at the church in the donation place. Well, guess what? These uh, 501C churches and stuff, now they're asking them to report the donation plate. And aside from that, that is not how your status is decided. How your status is decided is what this conversation is all about. It is based on what you subject what you were subjected to in your mother's house, house four, which directly reflects as to what your social status will of your social status. So with that, Islam. Islam, Islam. All right, well, it is 15 after 2, and what I'm going to do at this time is going to take some callers because we will be... Ending this broadcast promptly at 3 o'clock. All right, so let's see. Caller 513-981, you're live on the air. Please state your appellation at Northwest Maxim. As long as caller 513-981. Oh, peace. Peace, can you hear me? Peace, we can hear you. Uh -huh. Oh, great. This is Sister Jayana Bay. How are you doing, Sister Annie e and Ross? It's oh, mom, mother. <laughs> I was um I was just listening and um I'm like, Oh, that's my number. I'm first, so I'm excited. First I wanted to um piggyback off of what uh sister Ross was just reading. And I was reading a um the MST of A degrees. And mm -hmm. it's you know how they have the test? They have a, a multiple tests in this book. But one of the tests, it asks the question that says, there's a chapter of the Holy Quran, chapter 7 of the Moorish Holy Temple of Science that corresponds with the character building, philosophy of zodiac law, and culture of the ancient ones. Name that chapter. And that was the exact chapter that you, um, Sister Roz was just reading. It was chapter 23. So I thought that was <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. That's, that's the chapter. That's actually the chapter of character building, so um, I thought that was cool. But um, there was a couple of comments I wanted to make about the children. Uh, Sister Annie was talking about how um, the uh, dictatorship of um, the mother, and, and not that everybody should be a dictatorship in, in their household, but um, I know that I am – a dictator in my household to my child. And I remember it was last weekend I was out eating and um, it was another mother, an older mother, and she was asking me about the food I was eating because I'm a vegetarian. She was just like, well, um, what about your child? Dude, oh, my God, please don't tell me that you make him eat, you know, vegetarian, veg <laughs> uh, vegetables. No, this is what she said. She's like, please don't tell me that you're doing this to that baby. And I was like, yeah, I'm doing it to that baby. Like, I'm making him eat what I eat. And then she's like, well, that's unfair. You should give him the decision. And I was like, he don't have a decision. He don't make his decision. He's only four. You know what I mean? I'm like, what decision can he make? And then so she just looked at me. And, and like, I, I guess she was mad. I mean, but she was the older um, mother, so, I, you know, I didn't disrespect. I just said, you know, he don't have a decision. He's four. That's that's what I'm here for. So, you know. Right. Are you a Leo? Am I a Leo? I am not a Leo. I am a Scorpio, but guess what? I am a Leo. I'm, my moon. My moon is a Leo. My moon is okay, a Leo. Okay. There's a reason I said that because, well, first of all, the moon is what you really, really are expressing yourself through the Scorpion trait. That's why everybody that's right. needs to know that. So, yeah, and the other reason is that if you could, if you yourself can say, look, I, I know I'm a dictator, you know, without uh, – 
then, you know, that belongs to Leo because Leo's energy being uh, great mothers, great children love them, but at the same time there's a, there's a positive and negative or a polarity to each energy that must, that must be looked at, and you have both of them with you. So there is a place for dictator, uh, you know, dictator qualities to, to a degree, you know, and the fact that you recognize it is great because you can recognize when you're doing something that's dictatorial, not that this is That's right. Uh-huh. Right. right. Uh-huh. And so, so, yeah, and um, people would say, and because I, I do recognize it, and I, I do have, I have the Leo as the moon, which so that is the dictatorship that comes out, but I also have the Scorpio as the sun. And that, um, and the Scorpio mother, she's really, um, really, into motherhood, but then you know I also have cancer. So there, there you go. That's where I get I, my cancer is my ascendant. So I'm, I'm really, um, yeah. I, uh, I, 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 what is it? I want to say really I calm down. No. I calm down. I want to say I calm down and show the little mother love. And uh, so he's like, he has a mixture all in just me. <laughs> like I spoil him at the same time. I whoop him at the same time. I'm like all of them. Like I, you know, I take, I'm the disciplined and the loving one at the same time. So I think yeah. I'm pretty balanced. Um, if not, you know, I'm, um, I, I definitely recognize it with the Scorpio. I recognize within myself if I feel that something is not up to par or I need to change it. So, um, if if it's something that I feel, I can feel it first, and then I always, you know, try to correct myself because I know that we are working on ourselves every day. So I do try to correct myself every day, um, anything that I dislike about myself. Well, or, I just want to say this. I just want to say this. Because of the uh, the double dose of water in your trinity, you, oh, yeah. it's, it's a great <laughs> idea for you to, you know, sit back and count to ten or meditate on it because the oh, emotions – Emotions can make you oversensitive, so you got to look at that. All the time. You know what? You know what? What? What you about to say, son, Annie? Oh, okay. No, no, no. You know what? Oh, okay. You know what about the double water, me being emotional? Um, I do recognize that, but lately, the last year, um, a lot of meditation helps. I meditate a lot. I have to. I meditate a lot, and I do a lot of, um, Long, 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 um, hot, 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 hot tub. Like I'm sitting in the tub a lot, just meditate. <laughs> no, seriously. I no. Oh, that's a Pisces move right there. Well, yeah, that's, yeah. that's the water. I, I would be like, yeah, I'll be over the edge. Or, but not, but I'll be over the edge with the water. You get what I'm saying? I'll be over the edge with my emotions. So I have to cool out all the time. But I cool down with the 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 hot water. So yeah, I do recognize the double water. But I'm, I think I'm I'm gonna get there. <laughs> but I wanted to uh, uh, say something else about the um, uh, oh yeah, about the children and about us. Earlier, you guys were talking about us really just. Just doing a mother job is making sure we get the law um, really installed in our children at at the age of youth. And um, so I wanted mm-hmm. to correlate it with the, um, the Circle 7 Holy Quran. Um, what chapter? This is chapter, let me scroll up. This is chapter, I don't know what chapter, but it's um, Marriage Instruction for Man and Wife from Noble Duality. Yeah, and that's around twenty. Yeah, that, that that they're all in a row. Man's instructions for wife, wife's instructions for husband, and children. So, it's all uh, 22, 23, 24. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So sixteen, um, it says she presided in the house, and there is peace. She commanded with judge judgment and is obeyed. And um, so she arises in the morning. She arises in the morning. She considered her affairs and appointed to everyone their proper business. So to let you know that um, right there that we have a job to do as far as making sure everybody do what it is that they need to do. The care of her family mm-hmm. is her whole device. To that alone, she applied her study. And it, and elegance with frailty is seen in her mansion. The prudence of her management is an honor to her husband. He hears her praise with secret delight. She informs, she informs the minds of her children with wisdom. She fashioned their manners from the examples of her own goodness. The words of her mouth is the law. 
The word of her mouth is the law of wow. their youth. Right. right. So it's the law of their youth. So with that, it, it goes towards lace with and E, she, you said something earlier, like, you know, at that at a certain age, we do we do have to be a dictate for the, the children to make sure that they doing the things they're supposed to do so that they won't run wild. And then at the, he said the words of her mouth is the law at their youth. And then so when they become a certain age so after that, that age limit or whatever mindset, we know our own child when they're ready. Um, then they will be able to step up to the plate. They'll exactly. be able to step up to the plate. And, huh? The age of reason is seven. I just wanted to say, uh, uh, you know, you said the words of her mouth is the law, and that only makes sense when a child is a child. Whatever you say is what they're learning from, and the yeah. age of reason is seven years old, and that would be, again, part of the cycle seven, circle seven, and it is in conjunction with the development of most of the bone and skeletal growth, which is guided by the planet called Uranus, which is moves to its different place every seven years. So this is already the law. This is the seven is the age of reason. By that time, the child is able to reason. That's why it's so very, 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 very important that, like you said, if the words of the mother's mouth is the law, that she makes sure she says things that he can absorb in that fashion instead of some googly goggly crap or you set him up for something other than the law because he's going to be able to reason at seven and give him some tools to reason with. You know what I'm saying? All right. Give them something to reason with. Exactly. <laughs> we have to give them something to reason with be, in mm-hmm. order for them. That's just the same as, you know, we have to give them the light so that they can be the light or um, be the, the sons of light. So that's that's what that's talking about. So I just wanted to um, put that on the table. <laughs> wow. That's a, it's loud. It's loud. It's loud. And I, and I see yeah. you in action with your with your son, and you are that. When we were all <laughs> when we had traveled in the area, and we're like, "Where did you go?" And you went out somewhere, and it was just so quiet. You were so I'm like, "Wow, yeah." So I know exactly where you coming from. <laughs> but um, oh yeah, yeah, we like I, oh yeah, 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 yeah. He needed. I didn't support. know that that Leo was the heart of you because that that is who you really are. But they are. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Yeah, but, um, um, the children, mm-hmm. the children love them. They they attract to them. Yeah, yeah. He's a mommy. <laughs> he's a mommy. <laughs> Where you going? Where you going? Hey, listen, I don't get caught too. up in that mommy boy stuff because yeah, I, no, he's not a mommy boy. Hey, listen, That's a, they have no other choice but to be a mommy's boy from birth until yeah, yeah. until. Yeah. Uncleave from her, which should be somewhere after seven. Seven, right? Yes, it guess should what? be. And, and apply what mommy taught them. Exactly, exactly, and um, and it's and then yeah. the one thing about the children, I just wanted to add, it's a it's a beautiful thing to to watch them um, to watch them grow and to really comprehend what you teach them because you'll be amazed at how I, I remember hearing Annie say something like, you know, you're really not teaching them. You're just helping them remember the things they already know. And it is so easy to teach them. They already got it. They, he just, he just go, he just go. And he's taking, he's been taking um, this Spanish class, a personal class for just, I want to say only like a month, maybe two months. And he, he teaches me, cause I don't, I don't know Spanish. I'm not going to lie, but he teaches me all the time. I'm like, well, Jay, how you say that? And he's like, that's not how you pronounce it, ma. It's it's that or something. I'm like, oh, okay, because I, I can't really. One thing when you do dip multiple languages, you'll find that the way you speak um, is is much different. They they do something like with their tongue, or I, I don't know how to explain it. And so sometimes if you only speak English, it's hard for us to uh, to get our, our 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 lips and tongues right. And pronouncing things, so it's really amazing that I can't pronounce wor- certain words that he can. It, seriously, I mean, I I can I could practice at it, but he did it like it's just natural. So that's my homie. Well, he, you know, he he'll be all right. <laughs> he He's all gonna right. be fine. He'll be fine. He's, He's gonna be fine. 
peace and love to the family. Thanks for taking my call, and um, I'll be listening in. All right. All right, caller. Five one zero three three four. You're live on the air. Please state your appellation at Northwest Houston. Uh, hi, Islam. Yes, Islam. Yes, my name is uh, Anthony Bay. I'm calling. I uh, am Anthony Bay. I um. I'm calling from the northwest of Mexico. All right. Territory near California. All right. Hi. All right. Uh, so I'm calling uh, just to, I guess, ask a, a question. Mm-hmm. Um, I've, I've uh, received a notice from the IRS. I don't know if this is the right. Uh, way to uh, ask the question, but I will go ahead. Um, they, did, they sent an unsigned letter, and they said I needed to, um, it's a form CP59. I needed to uh, state why I haven't filed my tax return. I do, I am, um, uh, wanted to send a response to ask them, you don't have a signature on it. And honey, 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 don't get difficult, <laughs> all right? The reason that you don't have to file uh, a tax return is because you're not a corporation and you can put the case law that supports that and call it a day. Right. You're kidding. You're kidding me. Okay. No. Just, uh, you need to go on the site. Did you go on the site yeah. uh, on the about taxes page? Did you see all that stuff where it's all voluntary and all that stuff like that, like that? I did, I did, I did, I did. Okay, I but did. she just gave you the real key. But now the real key is, is that they really are for persons or for corporations. But yes. now, right, but now if you have not established your natural person status, then this is where you would do it. That doesn't mean you got to say a whole bunch of stuff, just what she just said. Is enough. They ask you for a reason. The 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 the, the ball is in your court. Well, no, I, I've established my national status. I sent it out. That's why they put it out. Then 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 that's all you need to say. Is what you just said you need to say, and that would be your answer to their question. Not a whole lot, a lot, a lot of nothing. They asked you the question. You gave them the answer. Yeah. Oh, and then just mail it to them. No, no, yeah. Well, I would. I wouldn't tell them over the phone because if you don't tell, if you don't put it in writing, you have no proof of any claim or that you ever said anything. Then they write to you, even though there's no signature. You know, um, you know. I mean, you know, you have to get your own strategies. It depends on your personality, how you want to present yourself and present these matters. Because you know, someone else might say, "Well, listen." I received some bogus letter with nobody's signature on it uh, asking a question regarding why um, I have not filed, you know, claims. So, I mean, you know, you could throw that in there, but it depends on how you want to handle it. But that's really the answer. Simplify. Okay, as long. Okay, thank you. I know that you probably in the past have filed taxes like most of us have, you know, and they're expecting more from the same, you know. And so, like, as a natural person, it's a contribution if you if you have volunteered to do it. But as a corporation, you know, that's who they're really, 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 really for. So, I mean, I would just do that strategy and sit back and see what they say. I'd be curious to see how they would answer that. Okay. So telling the corporation is dissolved. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Any, you got any other suggestions or is that it? Um, yeah, I would just, um, just, I would put my seal, our, our seals on the letter and just simply put, um, put our seals on the letter and just say, What yeah. seal? Huh? What's our, um, the, um, our lawyer seal, the one, after, like an affidavit of uh, fact kind of. Paperwork. But the seals are for government operations. You don't put seals on something that's not a government. Um, 
Oh, 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 Okay, I'm sorry about that. So just a regular so, letter. I mean, I, in my opinion, I don't think he should send it with seals. Do you, honey? Send it with what? Seals. He's talking about putting seals on it. And I'm like, what seals? He said his seals. So oh, I no. Asked him what seals. oh, no, <laughs> from the from the website, like the, uh, what's he going to do, an affidavit of fact or something to that effect? But no. But, well, I mean, I get, I guess you could, but it's not a governmental question. Cause you're not oh, government. I see. Okay. So just send a letter stating I'm not a corporation, and I, I mean, just, look, I just see you, you, they're used to getting stuff from you in the past, correct? Under the same uh, trade name or whatever, right? Right? Most of us have oh done. You heard me. Yes, I have. I have. I have. I have. I have. All of a sudden, you're not, but you never told them that you terminated. Those voluntary contributions, you never told them that, so they're expecting it from you. Okay. Voluntary okay. from that perspective, but at the same time, in that they're not meant for natural flesh and blood beings anyway, who are of the Aboriginal Indigenous um National, they're not they're not meant for you. When they say person, they're not talking about all that stuff. A person must do this, and a person they're not. They never were talking about you. Not to be, you know, um, the question of that tax at all. So that's what I'm mean, saying. That that's really your reason, you know. But uh, at the same time, they're lo- they're looking for you to have done what you've been doing. Oh you know? yes, that's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Okay. okay, and so just tell them. You read on the site that they're voluntary contributions, they're voluntary. So if anybody really wanted to get out of what they had been doing, first and foremost, is a voluntary situation for the flesh and blood being, if they choose to contribute or not, number one. And number two, it never really was meant. Well, it was never. I don't know which one is one and which one is two. I don't know. It depends on which way you look at it and how you understand it. It's never meant for you. I, I would, if if I was in your situation, I would only answer the question that they presented. And the inquiry no. that you made is really what they're trying ask, saying is, are you a corporation? If you are, you need to file taxes. You need to respond back. I am not a corporation, therefore there is no requirement for me to um, complete a, a corporate tax return, and then you get the case law, and that's it. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Keep it simple. You ever heard that keep, keep it simple? They say, I'm not calling you stupid at all. It's called kiss, keep it simple, stupid. That's what they say. But that's really, I mean, Annie, you said it best. Less is more. They ask you a okay. question, you answer the question, and that's it. You ain't got to even put nothing on there. And, and I don't think he needs to put a seal on there to say that, do you? Well, um, if you don't want to put a seal, you, you don't have to. You well, really okay. don't have to. He's saying should he go ahead and put the seal on it and send it to him. Maybe he should. I don't know. He could. Well, it's up to you. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. The, the, yeah. It's okay, because they even have a check mark. I am not a U.S. citizen or a permanent resident. They on their form that's not signed, and I just want to send a letter to this. They don't even have an address. Come to think, well, no. Well, just see, the there, Department there, of there, Treasury. There's a bank right there. You aren't a U.S. citizen, nor are you a permanent resident. You can't be a resident, nor can you be a citizen of the U.S. Right. What is so you're, okay? Wait a minute. What is this other form you're talking about? No, uh, this is from Department of Treasury, IRS, Austin, Texas. And it's just a a straight form letter that has my um, your name on there. That's not me. And 
the form says if you do not think you have to file a tax return for 2014, explain why you don't think you're required. And then one of the options is. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, honey. See, they just said if you're not obligated, please advise us as to why. I just told you what to say. You need to (laughs) put enough to write a writ, one page. And and you know and mail and mail it to them along with whatever they mail back to to you, whatever they mail to you. Now you make a copy for yourself of what they mm-hmm. mail to you. But turn their stuff back to them with your writ. With the in your one liner is not you know I am in receipt of your inquiry regarding court my court any any corporate status that applies to me and. I am not a corporation, therefore I am not obligated to file any corporate taxes. And then you give the sign it and send certified mail. Thank you. Islam. That's it. No discussion necessary. Thank you, Islam. Thank you. And, and also, that. also, I heard you say your de jour name. No, 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 no. Your de jour will be your proper. Uh, you mean your I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, non- Okay, I just wanted to be clear. Okay, all right, all right, Islam, Islam, he's still wrong. I'm sorry, yes, thank you. All right, caller, 973280, you're live on the air. Is that you, Sister Carol? Yes, it is. Oh, Sister Anna, Oh, high honors to you both. I love you two so much, and um, I tell you, what a what a great show today. I was looking forward to it. I mean, I got my all my treaty books out and everything. I was looking forward to it, but I tell you, but today's topic was excellent because, you know, it's funny, Sister Roz, um, I, I knew about astrology a little over 20 years now, and it's so funny because how I first came into it, because like you said, growing up, it was a little taboo and something you didn't talk about. It was through a co-worker, and he was a modern European son, introduced me to this astrologer, and, you know, he's been on TV, and he deals with stars and all this stuff. And, um, and it's funny because um, I think it helped me. I, I didn't understand it until I got into the more science, the, really, the real seriousness of it and who I am, because he didn't present it to me that way. He, he actually presented it to me as far as astrology would go. I was just, he would teach it and what have you. And I never really got that much in depth, but once I got into our science and found out who I was and, and into the metaphysical, I'm like, oh, if I had known this 20, 20 years ago, my children would have been raised so much different. But because of the sister that called in, I think that was Energy, Sister Energy. Yeah. Was that Sister Energy uh, talking about a, the, the sister that called before the gentleman, the son? I that was Sister Jayana. Jayana. Oh, Jayana. Okay, I tell you, I, I love her energy too. And, um, and it's so funny because when she was talking about her son, I'm a, I talked to you, I think, a, so, a while about Sister Roz, about I'm a, I have two waters. I'm a Cancer and my moon is Cancer and I have a Leo. And I would have this passion of the Leo and wanted this charge to do. And then the water, as you explained to me how, because I didn't have enough, um, I didn't have any earth, that would, just, that would just put the fire right out. You know, and I learned to, uh, now that I understand that better, I know how to work situations better. But my son is a Capricorn. My daughter's a Leo. And I tell you, the things that I've learned and, and from the last, because um, I've been following since, oh, my God, as soon as when the blog came on, I, I was right on it. I didn't have a computer the first two years, but I'm, I, I, any information I could get, I was right there. And uh, it, it's helped me now. I ended up in helping my children too much. But I tell you what, the grandchildren and the situation where I am now, I came down to um, help a family member out. And, and, and it's amazing because I was looking after her when she was a daughter, because my daughter the same age, and now I'm helping her with her children. And, uh, and it was supposed to be six months. It wound up being two and a half years. But I'm done on the spring. I'm, I'm, he- I'm heading <laughs> back. But you know what? Like you said, we're put here. The ancestors put us here for certain reasons because these little star children, these little children of hers, who the oldest is a, 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 a daughter, and uh, and I know she's going to help her brothers along. She's a Leo. Her brother, one's a Virgo, and the other one's a Cancer. And I, I let him know my little nephew came on one day, and he was a pilgrim. I said, no, you're not. I said, you're not the pilgrim. I said, the modern Europeans are the pilgrim. 
And I tell them all the time they're little bit more than who they are and pass information on. But my niece did stress to me that she's going to raise her children in this corporate mindset. And I let her know. I said, okay, that's fine because you're the mother and you have your husband, and I respect that. But I've given them as much information as I can. And I have learned to come to terms that all we can do is just put it out there and they'll take it from work. But I think I, I put enough in these, these young ones that, that they're going to seek this information and they're going to move forward with it. But I told my niece, I said, uh, she's, uh, she works in the corporate world and she's some position in some finance, um, CPA, whatever. And I said, look, you get all the information you can. You do well there because I said, when the wheels start turning, these businesses go under. When they start back up, you're going to own it. So, and I said, hey, you can teach the rest of the Moors who's going to need, you know, these are the little things that I tell them. And uh, I just want to thank you and tell you how much I love you both and I honor you. And, and it's helped me. I, I feel, whew, I tell you, I'm like, I'm in my 60s. And today, I feel more positive about things today than I did 30 years ago. And I know I will never look back and I will move forward and I'll, and everything I do, I'm doing it for my children, grandchildren, and, and all our and our family, our whole nation. And um, and well, we have to come back. That double cancer, we can certainly understand that. <laughs> that yeah, double dose like, of mothering and nurturing. That's what yeah, you got. and I've done that all my life, all my life, and I, I couldn't understand what it is. And I, you know how many people have told me. Carol, you talk too much. You're too friendly. You trust anyone and everyone. And that's but that. And I tell you it. And and I look back ten years ago. I was like really ready to shut down. You know, I said, no, this is me, and I I can't live for other people. I have to live for me. So um, my 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 sense of nurturing and my my uh, common sense has helped me from making a lot of mistakes. I, I made a few, believe me, but I chalk it up to lessons. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. And I have I have a niece here that, uh, you know, she had a rough time. She, I'm so proud of her because she's come a long way. And I said that's why the ancestors put us in certain places. She has a young son. He's a third grader. And she was telling me, she didn't tell me at first, but I could see something was wrong with her. And she says, well, the school wants to put him on medication, put him in a special class because he's very, he's a Gemini child. And I know how intelligent Gemini is on. I know they're multitask children, and I understand that he can handle a couple of things, and he was bored. So I told him, I said, no. I said, you're the mother. These schools can't make you do anything. And I said, it's your place to teach that child. I said, don't feel bad because you're home. You're a stay-home mom. I said, that's great. I said, you can do more for your children than, uh, than any parent that's out here working and spending so much time with their children. He went from so-called these low grades that they get like, I mean, poor, horrible grades. I told her to turn off the television, had a TV in his room, take the computer away. I said, you, I said no games. And if he wants to go leave with his father on the weekend, if he didn't do well in school or up to whatever standards they want, then he can't go. You know, she did all everything I suggested. He brought this, he's like A's and B's now as far as their standards go. And that's you know? disappointing. That dictator coming in like, you can't do this if you don't do that. <laughs> And there it is. Yeah, yeah, and I told her. I said no, and I and I gave her some of the literature that we have, just so they'll know too. At least give them a. Because once I leave here, I, I'll be back to visit. But no, they they can have this part of our, our land because uh, our, these people are foodie. These, these people are insane when it comes to church. <laughs> they are crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I just want to thank you again and tell you how much I appreciate everything, and um, and I'm moving forward. That's my goal. I finally found my purpose. Might have been a little late. I don't know how long. I might be another twenty, thirty years, maybe tomorrow. But I finally found my purpose, and I'm moving forward with it. All it's right. Islam, and thank you. Islam, thank Islam. you so much for the call. All right, caller. Uh, nine seven two eight three nine. You're live on the air. Please state your appellation at Northwest Maximum. Ms. Norm, Ms. Norm. This is Al. Ah, it's Norm. Bay. Northwest Maximum. Once again, family, it's good to hear your voices. It's good to hear you. We haven't Brother heard from you. And the need is Norm and two mother, Rod Moran Bay, is Norm. All right, it is great. Always great to hear and receive the text messages that you all are about to prepare a grace and mighty talk 
for the Moors Nation. I would suggest for our readers and our listeners to purchase two booklets, a woman called Rebecca and Mm -hmm. She Redeems. Mm -hmm. I myself understand everything that you, Sister Annie and Mother Rise Around, you are speaking about. Because my mother has ten sisters, and my uncle comes on my father's side. All right. It's wrong. Yes. Women are the first natural producers and raisers, both male and female, who are destined to govern society. A nation of people cannot rise higher than its women. All right. Islam. 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 And I will let you all, you both, beautiful sisters, elder mothers of our Moorish nation, continue to speak as I visualize Noble Juali carrying the Moabite woman until she awakens and stands up on her square and rightly divide our government and words of truth and wisdom will go forth. Islam, Moors. Islam. Right. Beautiful. Islam, Islam. Thank you so much for that. (laughs) No, well, we keep forgetting that he brought it right back to us, and a nation will not rise, cannot rise any higher than its women, which comes right back to... Our inspiration for this show today um, and sharing of information it has to be heard no matter what, no matter what. Because like like we said, if the, if there is sons who are who who have it raised correctly, and then they're gonna go out to meet and to assist another sister's daughter, let's say, um, uh, who has not been given the correct information by a mother. This is not a religious choice. We we, we boil it to a, a even even a, a universal skill, which is civilization principle, period, regardless. And and, and and we know that the infiltration of the Moorish design and national movement of the world has been to make it a religious choice only without knowing what true religion is. So let's say to make it a pseudo religious choice only, which means that since it is what was teaching the civilization principles, that has been extracted from our from from a lot of people. They don't have it. So that was purposely done, purposely done to establish this degradation of society or or, or, or fall or the results of the fall of humanity. It, it was done on purpose. Because people are thinking, well, that's just your religious choice. No, let's take it to what it is, the civic principles. And then we can all interact with each other um, based on the common source, which is what the Constitution itself represents. It's a common, it's common law, which means it's also international law, national and international law, because it's common and it's uh, ancient civil principles of civilization. So, you know, that's, and that's also why internationally the, the condition of the child is determined by the mother. That's a responsibility and an obligation on mother. So, you know, we just brought that back to other show. So I don't know if you want to take another call. And we'll yeah. move on. All right. Um, all righty, call two, caller 267-521, you're live on the air. Please state your appellation at Northwestern Maxim. Islam, Islam, family, Tressa L., Northwestern Maxim. How is the yeah. sisters doing today? Um, mothers, um, enjoying the show. Um, i just like to um, make a couple comments real quick if I can. Um, mm-hmm. And touching on the children, um, you know, Teaching and educating our children um, starts at home, and um, if if 
But if we allow um, the outside um, influences to um, teach our children, um, that's when they start going away, going their own direction. And we have to keep them on course and focus them on what we're teaching them, and and, um, they'll be fine. And when um, Sister um, Diana was talking about the um, lady um, commenting on her feeding her children um, the, the the good foods that are healthy for them, um, it, it, I just want to say that um, kudos to her because it, it's funny how people always want to make comments when we're doing the right thing by our children but never have anything to say if they see our children outside or somewhere doing um, things that they had no business doing, they turn their head and look the other way and have nothing to say. Um, mm-hmm. But you know, when we're as their parents and their guardian or whatever, we're, you know, doing the right thing by them, then they always want to step in and, you know, want to put their little comment on it, um, you know, and, and, and put a little twist to it. But I just, you know, that was just one thing I just wanted to mention. Um, and also, um, my my husband is here. He'd like to say something to you. Um, just a minute, please. Islam. All right. Islam, Islam, Islam. I seen Bay. Oh, we broke you up too, by the way. I didn't catch who we were talking to. Sorry, sister, because I didn't hear the appellation when you said it. But I said, boy, that voice sounds so nice. I see, we, I was just thinking about you. I'm like, where's the thing? You must be really busy these days. We haven't heard. You call in and nothing. What's going on? Oh, but, but we've been listening. We've been listening All every right. week. And, um, oh. yeah, we've been um, doing a lot of things. Um, we've been understanding silence also. But we've been doing a lot of things. And uh, um, I'll give you a call and uh, Mother Annie to call also because um, we have some more family members that uh, uh, has national lives than uh, they had uh, uh haven't received certain now, things yet. No, yes. I know one in particular. Okay. And uh, uh, we you, just... There's a reason for that that she can tell you when she talks to you, I'm sure. And um, same with me, that brother that you were concerned about. No, I had to hug. I don't know where the mail is stuff, so we'll talk about that. Okay. And there's some other ones also. Um all right, and all right. Call me up. Call up and certain, stuff. And right. we wanted to make a comment because, um, as a family, and we was reading the um, administrative structure, and I remember all the time Annie E saying that it's enough work for everyone, and you need to find your place. And one of the things, uh, um, um, that we've been dealing with as a family for the last. Wow, 40, 30, 25 years, my wife uh, was into the uh, daycare business. And uh, um, now after we had nationalized, uh, we was dealing with the, uh, well, prior to nationalize, we was dealing with the foster care um, thing. And I just wanted to um, bring light to that because that hadn't been spoken about. There's over 500,000 children in the U.S., now, I said in the U.S., that's in foster care. And um, I would I don't know how many more Morris children are in the care, but I would um, would uh, uh, think to say that it is a lot of them. Now, one of my sisters um, that's dealing with foster care, um, last week we were talking about uh, – the nation, the Moorish nation, and in the nation you should have a a branch dealing in health care, and we would think that the foster care would do that, and we wanted to deal with that as far as what we as a family want to um, put together and then bring that branch to the nation. But um, in, in, in dealing with that, um, my, si- my sister uh, was uh, – on the list, she, she does foster care. And last week, they called her up 2 o'clock in the morning and said that she had room for a, a child that was six months old. The uh, uh, mother signed papers and walked away from the child, and the child was adoption ready. And these are the type of words that they used. Then just four days, three days ago, 
They called her again here one three o'clock in the morning, asking, "Do she have room for another child, another Morse baby?" Listen to this: the baby is four days old. The mother walked away from the hospital, leaving the baby, and the baby was four days old. Mm. And and my sister took the baby in. Um, but I'm just saying, this is the condition that we're in, and we're faced with. Uh, uh, in Morris America And uh, um, as a result of that We've been talking as a family For the last year And you guys know a little bit of my background As far as uh, uh, The family Keeping the family together uh, uh, Within the family And we know in Morris families The grandmothers and things Has been doing that for for years For centuries But for years without the grandmothers um, and a lot of the aunts And so um, brothers and grandfathers also I, I don't want to leave them out Because I know what I do And uh, um, I've been stepping in And if it hadn't been for These mothers and grandmothers And great grandmothers stepping in And helping and supporting And to keep that that uh, uh, that thread Attached to that needle As we move through As it moves through life um, It wouldn't be But uh, uh this is one of the conditions that's out there, and um, we even looking to um, bring some of those babies out of that bondage, um, mm-hmm. adopting them or whatever, uh, or foster caring them or whatever it might be, um, to that extent. But to bring them up out of that bit, out of that bondage, because those spirits came into, they made a contract to come into the world, and then. Uh, the contract, in a sense, was forfeited. And as we all are, are family and all tied together, we have to step in and be family and do that, and so we consider him to do that. Um, but that's just one of the things I just wanted to say because it was wonderful that you were talking about the will, the children, expressing that because I hear a lot of times they're talking about oh, on the national level and on law, but this is truly divine and national, and that was truly on the divine side coming today from your mothers. I really <laughs> appreciated that. Thank I you. I really yes. appreciate that. That was just right on point. All right. So, Thank you. All right. Peace and love. It's good to hear from you. We look forward to talking to you uh, soon. All right. Uh, Peace and love. We continue to listen. All right. All right. Peace and love, brother. Um, Oh, man, I don't know what line you were just coming in on. I don't know. And and are you there? Because I'm going to take the next caller. But I don't know what line you All right. Well, can you. I'll be the opposite. Next right. caller is caller 0492. Say that again. Yes. Islam. Islam. I, I don't know. Can you, can you? We can hear you. Yeah, I was in a in a busy area. I, I was actually walking home and kind of got by these cars and it started getting windy. So I don't know if you all hear the background noise, but I want to apologize for it. But uh, this is this is Azad Afron Bay, calling from Northwest Africa, Mexum. In the, uh, I guess it's what you all call it, the, the uh, corporation of uh, Richmond, Virginia. Mm-hmm. Near, 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 near the corporation, not in it. Near. near. Okay. Okay. Right. Near, near <laughs> the corporation. <laughs> right. uh, yes, you all having a wonderful call. I, I actually, uh, I'm loving it. I, I love to hear the sisters talk. Uh, the wisdom and, you know, you all are bringing the light to the to the situation. Uh, just wanted to make a comment and, and ask a question. Uh, <clears throat> comment. Um, I'm on a Facebook group, and uh, it's uh, several individuals, you know, I actually posted some information, you know, just basically, you know, letting them know about RB Bay publications, and uh, there's a couple of couple of individuals, like they were saying that uh, the RB Bay publications did this, and you got people getting locked up, and I had to, to quickly straighten that, you know, because, you know, we all, you know, I'm always listening to you sisters, you know, you all are beautiful with the information, you know, study, study, study. You know, you can't just go out here and think you're going to use certain things and think you're just free. You have to study. So 
I just kind of came back and posted that information, you know, because it's, it's, it's pertinent that we, we do learn this information. And, you know, a lot of, a lot of people just think that you can just get it from one source. Um, but the, the question, which let me stop. <laughs> Cause my man just going a hundred miles an hour. Um, question when it comes down to, to studying, you know, uh, cause I know, we all have to, to pull our sources from, from certain places. But when it comes down to studying, what do you all recommend for a babe or a new new beginner, you know, coming into the, you know, the, 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 the realization of what's going on? Send them to the what? RV Bay Publications website and <laughs> let them just jump in. Oh. Just jump in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, hey, look, you know I got to make a comment. Because it's so interesting when they say, yeah, if you listen to RB Bay Publication, you're going to go to jail. Listen, they've been going to jail in their way. Yep. <laughs> and will be and would be going even more often or being raped with finances more often. So, you know, that's the neophyte who hasn't gotten it yet that says that they're still searching, as I think you understand, to find mm-hmm. their place because, you know, I mean, and that's the comments. Like, why would RV Bay Publications want people to go to jail? Hell, we we here ourselves have experienced the untoward acts of of the same. You know, they think, oh yeah, well you you guys never done the most everything, most most everything that's on the site we've experienced. Mm. Not everything, but most everything we've experienced. And the interesting part is to show you that these are that they're neophytes who are still searching. Um, is that we even on the site we have stuff that comes right out of quote unquote successful situations or portions of quote unquote successful writs or quote unquote successful actions that gave favorable replies that was uh, um, that was applied by one of us or some of us or someone or whatever as being quote-unquote successful, but then someone else can come on the site and use that same thing, and it won't be successful, not because it doesn't work, but because they don't work. And the reason mm-hmm. for that is because we're talking, I think we're talking law here, which means mm-hmm. that it cannot, it cannot, let me see it three times. It cannot be applied lacking the spirit of law. Mm-hmm. Someone who comes and says, you, you're going to go to jail, those people, uh, if you're going to go to jail if you go by what's on RV Bay, those people we can succinctly say formally and officially at this time that sure. they do not possess oh, the you spirit. Oh, I'm they not near right here. Oh, Excuse me? I'm on the phone that they do not possess the spirit of law. So, therefore, mm-hmm. it won't possess them. And it's 9 out of 10 won't, quote, unquote, work. So that's our answer to that portion. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, um, oh, yeah. I think that that the first thing is, like Prophet Noah Joy Lee said, I came to teach you to be yourself. So mm-hmm. it really doesn't matter what someone reads, Learns if they're not applying their self and their proper social status to it, then they have no lawful or legal standing to apply anything that they get off of the site or anywhere else because their status is not just their relationship to the community, but it is in fact a lawful and legal relationship. So if they want to approach without that status being established, it may not be operating right for them. Now, you have some people who say and have said and have done, well, I did it this way and I didn't say anything about my national. Well, guess what? Those same corporations that you allowed yourself to be addressed as a perficial are now falling, they are now falling, and they're going to take your behind with them. You are still in the position that you are, in fact, a resident of or a citizen of, in any way, uh, an artificial person under 
an artificial jurisdiction where the artificial jurisdiction is dying on the vine, desperately trying to maintain, but bankrupt and dead, right? So then so shall you be if you do not put that protection of your, like what is so wrong with, the, uh, with, 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 with you declaring or anyone declaring their status, which is their relationship to the community, which is a legal and lawful, a lawful and legal one, what, that's, that has to go down because there's all kinds of tricks, deceit, uh, offers, uh, 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 presentments that are coming, coming along for the people. They're, they're, they're being done right now. They, you know, they're talking about, oh, there's a, such a thing as a you die, that's not national. I mean, that's a proposal. That's a, that's a presentment of, of that's bogus as hell. But if you say, yeah, that's me, that's what I am, then you're going down the train, down the, um, down the track on that train. And it will be blown the hell up. Mm. So, you know, so thank you for your support. Of oh yeah, if, if I if I can add, um, what what's taking place is the the web, the, the the group that I'm on or uh, with, uh, they are a Morris group, you know, and and what's taking place is I think I made a statement to to Mears and Kudo, on the Sons of Allah, and it, what happened, uh, when I first kind of joined that other group because actually you you really don't know you know who who's in these groups, but when I joined, I actually had my the 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 flag, the continental flag. You know, uh, from you know, from Bunker Hills, or, or you know, the whole big thing. Mm-hmm. And as soon as I went on, the brother said, "You know, that's a such and such flag." And I'm like, I said, "You know, am I in the wrong group?" You know, so I, I just basically, I'm like, this, 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 this brother need to do a little more, more research. But what takes place is, you know, what what he was basically saying is that uh, he posted something about his website. So you know, it, it was all about advertising or whatever it is that that that, that he's doing. You know, but at the same time, what I came back and I said, I said, brother, I said, listen, I said, we all, you know, are, you know, we win some, we lose some, you know, whatever takes place, but we're all in a in a learning stage. And the the, the biggest thing with with uh, understanding him, you know, he he, I guess with his his demeanor, I, I think that he thinks that he's above the rest or something like that. I don't even know, you know, but yeah, it's just most leader, no most leader, <laughs> most leader guys definitely think that. Definitely, mm-hmm. definitely. Now, when you said he has advertising, does he make people pay for advertising? Um, I don't know. Cause, no, he was just advertising his like his little his little group. You know, it's uh, some uh, uh, oh. I don't know the name of the website, but I actually checked his website out, and and like I said, his website against RB Bay Publication. Like I said, there's no hands down RB Bay. You know, the whole I mean, it's just a, a broad base of information. You know, here. But you know what's interesting? His... We're not out there competing with any of them. We're out here yes. sharing the information, and we don't mind if people link to share the same information. But what happens is is that they have a different agenda, and many, many, many times people jump out and do things, and they are really not prepared for. And it's not me or anyone else that makes that gauge. The truth of the matter is, it's the universe that makes that gauge. And their words that they put on their on their written stuff or their their uh, website proves that. <laughs> yeah, it proves that word. It's like you know. So they weren't prepared. That's just like a lot of people. We talked about this, I believe, Tuesday. Jump out when the first thing they want to do is open up the temple. They don't have jet knowledge about what they should know. We understand their inspiration for it is because the temples that do exist are all, for the most part, discombobulated, disorganized, and infiltrated. On top of which, and that they are not. Um, they are a component of this movement, but they are not the movement. And some of them think they're actually the the empire and all that craziness. So we understand the inspiration, but to come out, it's very, very difficult for people, for most people, to change their position, even once you show them or it is proven to them or they themselves can see that it is wrong because their ego doesn't allow them to do so. So they're going to continue to lead people down the wrong way and try to make that which is wrong right. You can't make that which is wrong right. What you can do in these days is be forced to make changes. Mm. That's it and that's all. And and, and guess what? It's prophesied, prophesied that that would be where we're at. We're all forced to make changes. So now you got some hard heads 
to have a bigger ego that refuse to do so, so they'll have study groups teaching people the wrong stuff. So now they might go to a site similar, you know, RV Bay or anywhere else that they may go and get some different and better information. And so now it becomes a battle between RV Bay publications and whatever mm-hmm. the heck they got going on. Not that we're perfect or whatever, but I'm just saying this is what we're looking at. Instead of them, it, it, like in other words, when you ask what do we do first, instead of them recognizing who they are, who is who, and what is mm-hmm. what, and the commonality of it all, and then operating from there where everybody and nobody gets molested, instead of doing that, and then the pieces will automatically fall in place, they want to establish and create some other friction, and they're just running around chasing their tail. And so, yes. you know, a lot of them will be the first to be unseated, not by RV Bay, but by the universe, because this is coming down the line now. You know, so, you know, let some of them try to prove it wrong. Then you have some brothers who, 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 and I say brothers because I, I just don't know of any sisters. I'm not saying it cause, because I'm picking on the brothers, but I just do not know of, and if there's any, correct me, I know many who follow some brothers that do this. You know, they go and they're establishing, um, you know, something else. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, uh, it, it's just crazy, you know, and, and they can't do that. They can't establish a nation. That's what they sure. So, you know, like, what, what, they just take this other position, anything except for making the necessary changes so that we could be family. Now, to me, I figured that, you know, it's just it's really clear that we're a family across all four corners of the earth. And the prophet said yes. it, across mm-hmm. all four corners of the earth, that, you know, we could come together in that commonality and work out the rest. This is the reason why um, the Constitution was even put out there, is so that nobody would be molested from it because it is the commonality. And if everyone, based on ancient principles of civilization, and if everyone followed that, no one would be molested. But now when you have people that are trying to supplant and be who you are instead of being who they are, which is our problem as well, um, then you have a problem. You have a problem. So, mm. yeah, man, so... <laughs> It's all about, um, I say that to say that the first thing is to know who is who and what is what. And that's even established in the Constitution itself because we have some people that say, well, I have a brother. I know when they come to me what, where they're coming from. I know they came from some study group. I don't even want to identify who the study group is. Why? Because it doesn't even matter. It really doesn't hmm. even matter because if they put stuff up like that and other people are following it, it doesn't matter. They need to get it straight. But they'll come and say, well, how come um, our signature isn't on the Constitution? Because the Constitution is not written for us. It's written for other people to agree to. That's why. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, it's, it's built in divine principles. It can't even really be written, but it's built, it's, it's, it's established those principles. So, no, we're not going to sign it because it is that you. Oh, is there some noise in the background? So, the yeah, point I is, that's that in a, in a, in a crowd earlier. That's all right. When you find out who is who and what is what in the Constitution itself, there's, there's, then you'll know who the players are and who the players are not. And that it was never written for us, but it's definitely for us to, to, to enforce so that we are what? Not molested by who? These other people. Other citizens yes. and subjects. So, again, I thank you for your call and thank you for your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you all for the call. I'm telling you, it's wonderful. Peace and love. All right. It's long. All right. I think, and either you there with the next call or what? Nope, no, for you to take. I think it's. Um, uh, Give me the number. I think. Okay, all, all right, hold on. It is uh, three four seven eight right. seven eight seven three four seven eight seven three. I can hold on. Let me find it. Whoever is that number, just hold on. Hold on. Uh, is it up top? Let me roll all the way down. Uh, oh, 
Oh, uh, three four seven seven eight five. Eight seven three. Eight seven three. Okay. All right. All right. Hold you. Hold you. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. All right. All right, call up three four seven eight seven three. You're on the live on the air live. Speak your affirmation for the record and your question or comment. Islam, my appellation is William Avery Anderson Ill, um, right. North West of Maximum Territory, Mohegan Lake, New York. All right. Okay. Um, I'm I'm a beginner, so you know I am getting I'm used sorry, to being what, myself. What what, what corporation are you? The name of the corporation you're near? The corp the territory corporation uh, is Mohegan Lake, New York. I am not of the corporation. No, no, no. Mohegan Lake is not the corporation. At New York is the corporation. Mohegan Lake is the is the Aboriginal uh, appellation. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not a corporation. You're at New York, which is a corporation. Okay, so New York. In New uh, York, not in New York, at New York, or near at New York. York. At New York or near New York? Near New York. You're near New York. That's a corporation. Yeah, near, so near, near would be better. Uh, an, an, an ancestral landmark. I was just thinking because I, I kind of heard, heard it, but I didn't hear it. I thought I heard it was lake. I was like, are you, are you near a lake? <laughs> oh, he didn't. Anyway, go ahead and state your uh, question. Yes. Okay. Um, I was reading the Circle Seven Quran, and I was on Chapter Twenty Six, Holy Instruction of Unity, and Verse One and Two caught my eye because um, when I was speaking to R.V. Bay, he always told me to study, study, study. And then I had one question. He said, well, um, because you asked the question, Allah has released the treasure to you and brought me to this um, chapter right here, which which says the gifts of the understanding are the treasures of Allah. And he appointed to everyone his portion in what measure seemeth good unto him himself. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mm -hmm. And verse 2 is has he indulged thee with wisdom? Has he enlightened thy mind with the knowledge of truth? Communicate it to the ignorant for their instructions. Communicate it to the wise for thine own improvement. And <laughs> I have been improving rapidly. I have been studying vigorously. I have been improving rapidly. I wrote my first writ. Um, and it, this has only been uh, thirty days. Mm-hmm. This has been thirty right. days, but, I, but I've been studying over and over, and I can see the improvement. And I, I definitely appreciate the family for helping me. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Now mm-hmm. I want to tell you something. I am Rasha Raya Bay, and I am the one who gave you those instructions. And you assumed that it was a he. <laughs> so I, know, I know who you I are. Apologize, I apologize, sister. No, don't apologize. I just wanted to share that with you because I, I wanted to say to you, yes, I have seen your improvement based on the email that you have sent and the responses that, that you're speaking on right now, and yes, sending you to that. So I just wanted for me to say that, and I have to tell you that you know that uh, that 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 you were uh, corresponding with with me, and yes, good. Okay. Good work. I I, I appreciate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good, brother. All right. Okay. Keep in love. Um, keep keep uh, that verse that you just read. Keep it with you at all times. I will. Uh, All right, it's long. It's long. All right. All right. Let me see what the next caller is. All right, the next caller is 5-7-0-8-5-6. Should be right near where you just... Yeah, but I got to read it. 
I got to unmute this yeah. guy. And your head says, I'm going to get this unmuted. Uh oh, mute. Okay. What did you say? Five what? Eight, five seven zero five seven zero eight five six. Oh, got it. Yeah. All right. Call a five seven zero eight five six. You are live on the air. State your opposition for the record and your question and open comment. Five seven zero eight five six. Are you there? Yes, not. All right, next one. Next one, three four seven eight six zero. All right, let me unmute this one. I mean, let me mute this. Okay, say that again. I'm sorry. Three four seven eight six zero. Got it. All right. It's All right, three four seven eight six zero. You are live on the air. We state your opposition. Islam. 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 Northwest of Maxim. Ah, it's my brother Don L. All right. I I just I just needed to just remind you how just in case you don't hear it as often as you ought to or need to how much we have to love you, how much we have to appreciate you and what you do. You are a true connection to the oneness from which we come. You (laughs) are a uh, life force, that life energy, that light that connects us to what is. And it's just that so many of us are stuck in these boxes and conditions that, when the prophet came, he saw and brought the truth to bring us out of. And, and I mean, all we have to do is really study, 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 read, 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 listen, 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 hear, hear, and hear. You know, it's amazing how once all that uh, 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 food, that nourishment, that light is, is filling us up, if we would just apply it, and sometimes we're forced to apply it and we don't even realize or didn't realize that we had it when the time comes. Now, I was just looking at, 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 at um, because I was so sick of how when you go on the Internet and you try to do anything and everybody wants you to join this and join that, and, you know, it's part of the uh, unilateral contract deals, and and I was just looking, and I noticed, and I recall from back, way back, even to now, that everywhere in those unilateral contracts, there's always a line that mentions as long as these uh, terms and conditions do not violate law. Yeah. And that makes everything so Simple, so that we need to stop worrying so much and looking at and de- de- delineating all the conditions that don't even apply. Exactly. We just go that one line and say, hey, you're in violation, and we enforce our law, but we have to know it. But see, and, first of all, it's not really our law in that it is the law for yeah. everyone. It's the common common law. It's international law, you know, uh, so all issues there are, are, are international, national and international because it's, that's what common law is. And so, you know, it's not our law and their law because the truth is they don't have any law. The only law they do have is already scribed in the law of the land, which for foreigners, immigrants, and others who come here is limited. It's limited because it, cause, because they're in a, under another nation, but there's no uh, um, like like I said, like you just said, the key is as long as it doesn't violate law. So now they made a presentment on a so-called contract, and if you don't, you're you're so right. Just show where it violates law. That's it. That's all. You know, and if it, and if we were up on our dean before we signed the contract, we would have seen it first 
and foremost before agreeing. So right. you're absolutely right. But I don't like the term our law to a degree because people actually think that more are talking about a law and there's another law for other people. Right. No, no, right. not at all. This right. is what makes it so hideous, Brother Dunn, is that that they, in fact, have, like when you look up that uh, state governments, if that's what they say they are, 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 are but uh, are, 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 are but state go- trustees with a derived authority, which is what is derived from the law. You see yes. what I'm saying? So our ancestors were so eloquent in laying down the law, right, and the rules of civilization and the principles, et cetera, that there is really no escape for them other than what has been done, which is the deceit, and that comes from the fact that we lack knowledge and unfortunately or fortunately uh, 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 ignorance of the law is just no excuse. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. And and I do uh, uh, stand corrected and replace our with supreme law. All right? Yeah. I think that would That's be right. more fitting. Of which uh, they are it, of which they are obligated to do as well and have gotten away with not doing so for so long. Now, since they're corporations, someone decides, you know, they're not even government, that they want to join that group or that corporate and be a member, they can do whatever they want, but they cannot, they cannot uh, 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 press that upon people who who are not a member of such and do not agree to be violated. Right now, uh, it, now in terms of though dealing with, I would I would need to maybe communicate on the internet, and in terms of the fact that, you know that's a unilateral unilateral contract that's thrown up in front of you, and what I was sharing is that the hilariousness about going ahead and 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 making that connection without feeling that, like you're obligated to somebody breaking your law or you're obligated to some agreement that that you're not because of the supreme law, all their words are nothingness when it comes down to the bottom line. It violates supreme law, therefore you can hold me to that, and you only try to uh, caress me uh put me under duress to take away something I needed to use for, you know, my interaction. And you don't have that right right to, you know, force me to violate supreme law, even against myself and to my detriment. And, you know, know, that's also that uh, a lot of folk have been so used to responding as if, somebody sent them something, like nowadays, if you're getting something from the IRS, it's a computer-generated, no-person-signed document making a claim against who knows what. Right. And, you know, some of us are still so fearful and unknowing about what's what, and this is the day of light, so this is the day of truth, and Again, you are very much appreciated because, you know, changing their thinking is uh, uh, the crown for changing their thinking would be granted. It is yours. You have earned it. And I thank you. I love you. I appreciate you. And I yield. Thank you, brother. Peace and love. Thanks for the call. All right. I'm going to go back to the seven number again because we called them out and they didn't answer. I'll try them and then I think there's one more call, call after that which is 513. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay, let's try what is it? 347 right? Um, no, 347 oh. 3, Oh, we did. We took that person. No, no, no. We, we did. did it. No, they didn't. I don't think they answered. 
All right, I'm going to try them one more time, but I thought there was a 347860 as well. Yeah, we just talked with me. No, that was yeah. 873, right? Yeah. 
the um, mindsets of our foremothers and forefathers and trying to cleanse ourselves from the programming or deprogramming ourselves. And so what I say to people, because uh, the guy had called and was saying, the people were saying this or going against RV Bay or whatever, the prophet said this. Those who were with me then are with me now, and those who were against me then are against me now. So those people are just doing their job. That's what they're going to do. That's what they're going to do. I don't even care. I don't even worry about those type of people. When I hear people say stuff, I don't even care. I just say, good more, you do what you're supposed to do, and let those people continue doing whatever they're supposed to do because they got a job just like, you know. Mm-hmm. So I, I just had the um, – the comment. I, the comment because I can't stand when I hear that when people say, "Oh, you know, I'm more school in jail." I'm looking like, what? That's that. If anything, if they are more in their jail, at least they have a remedy. If you're a so-called black with no nationality, you have no remedy. You know, yeah, so, and, um, yeah, and and you're and you're absolutely correct because, um, like when we were talking about that, uh, I realized too another comment when uh, brother was saying that people were saying that you know they go to jail. Uh, uh, there's a whole host of people that we could bring for that we say if it wasn't for what I discovered in or studied on the site, RV Bay and other sites, uh, that they would in fact be in jail and or would have paid, you know, uh, been extorted. And that, that that information kept them from being so. And that's why that's- we're where we are now because these people are not getting the same end of the month report financially and some of them are getting sued. Many of them are getting fired. Some of them are getting uh, charged and going to jail uh, themselves for violation of law. And then there's all those other ones because we have to remember municipalities, which are Roman venues, which send out their Roman soldiers, which we call police, but they're really Roman soldiers private employees, they're all over the place. And some of them are fighting like hell to keep um, violating you. So it's like this this wash is coming up, you know, this is the agitation that's happening. And so you'll have people to say, I just had somebody call me the other day and said, um, I was just talking to someone, I think it was Sister July, I'm not sure who it was. And the brother just know he had a road travel card and he got stopped and they said, have a good day. But then you'll get stopped in some other places, especially in areas where they like to hang you on a tree anyway, and they won't, they'll, they'll continue to accost you after stalking you and take it, to the, take it to the bridge, as we say. So it's just a matter of us continuing, the people continuing to bring this thing to the light of truth, and it will stop completely, and it is about to do so, however, those who don't know, there's still going to be food on the plate for those who are trying to um, devour them. (laughs) (laughs) So thank you for your comment, this is Diana. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm. Well, that concludes this broadcast of Sister Sending on Law, I believe. Um, let me just check something. Um, um, I mean, because you were paying attention on the panel more than I was, but I just sent you the text there. Uh, if, 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 if that concludes it, I think it's going to yes. um, concludes it. We... Huh? Um, I think we should, if that concludes this broadcast, we said quite a bit. Yeah. And this, uh, that can be just, you know, contemplated, listened over again. And uh, we'll be saying more this coming Tuesday at 930. So make sure and check us out. Meet us back um, here. Can I just make a comment because, you know, about this coming Tuesday and our discussion being about the so-called Yamasee calling themselves the Yamasee Federally Reserved in the end. Uh, say they work yeah. with the U.S.A. and they are going to be working with the Roman soldiers and corporate uh, corporations, private uh, employees to attack and charge anybody with a card, national, so-called nationality card that says that they are Yamasee or of the Yamasee Nation. Listen, there is no Yamasee Nation. That's number one. 
So on a it, that Yamasi means ancient ones. And uh, on that on that note, there is the Great Seal, which is the Moorish nation, and that's the symbol on the insignia of this of of the Moorish nation of this land. Uh, and there's the eagle, which is a subordinate to it. You are either under the e under the eagle, or you're under that pyramid, which is the Great Seal. There is nothing else in between. Period. That's it, and that is all. So with with someone saying, well, I'm from the Yamasi Nation or the Washita Nation, and no disrespect to any of those appellations because they both mean the ancient ones, which are Moors, which we know, first navigators. So if, uh, if, if, they're, if they're not stating that they are more American nationals and they don't have an Alluri or American national card that says so, really, and it says something else, the nerve of federally reserved Indians that are taking the Yamasi appellation and saying that they're going to work with cops or with uh, policy enforcers to try to charge you with fraud for using, I guess, for having a nationality card. Well, you shouldn't have, you ought not have a nationality card that says you're of a Yamasi nation because it doesn't exist. So from that point, you know, your nationality card that you do have, that's the American Elodio, is, is important and it will change in your pocket. But from the other side, the Federal Reserve Indians, because that's what they are, do not have any right to that family appellation and then to work with policy and forces to try to charge you for using it in any fashion, really, you know, is wrong. So this is going to be a really exciting uh Information filled, I believe. Well, they're all information filled. Um, uh, <laughs> discussion come Tuesday. Yes, it is. Mhm. Yes, it is. And with that, we uh, might as well play our closeout music. Have you decided what you're going to play? Uh... No, I didn't even think about it. You usually go, what, what shall we play? Oh, we got so much stuff in here. We need to put it on there. I can't even find what I would be looking for. I guess I'm going uh, to close, why don't we close out with our intro. Are you going to, we are, are you looking uh, for family the sisters because that's what this one thing was about. Huh? The intro is the last song on the list. Last on the list, that'll make it easy for me to scroll down with my little, little miniature mouse in the wheel. We are family. Yeah. yeah. What do you call that? The excelled version, extended version. That's what we're going to close out with. It's love. Peace and love. Have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. See you in the next cycle of seven. It's love.